What are the similarities between a company and a living organism? How to distinguish normal problems from abnormal ones and which ones to address first? Can your business gain immortality? Managing Corporate Lifestyles by Ishak Adesis. Subscribe to join the top YouTube community dedicated to instructive books. With each video, you save at least one week worth of your time. Any system has its life cycle. Everything starts from birth, then follows growth, prime, aging, and finally death. Organizations also evolve in this way. But unlike living organisms, they can remain viable indefinitely. The leader's goal is to bring the organization to its prime and allow it to gain a foothold in this position, preventing the process of destruction. How to achieve it? You need to change and solve problems, not to avoid them regularly. An organization can have both normal and abnormal problems, which are different for each stage. Normal problems are associated with the transition from old behavioral patterns to the new ones. The company that has successfully overcome these difficulties reaches a new level. When someone or something in the company resists the changes, abnormal problems arise, and the management has to deal with them. Abnormal problems need to be addressed in the first place. They will not dissipate by themselves. They can turn into chronic pathologies and lead the company to premature death. Let us consider the 10-stage Odysseus model of a company's life cycle. Courtship Initially, a company exists only as an idea. The founder ponders on whether it is worth creating the intended business. Usually there is a conflict of priorities, focusing on making money or changing the world. When there is no understanding yet who will be responsible for what task, such doubts and ambiguities are normal. Abnormal problems may include the following. The idea is not exciting enough for the founder. The creator is fanatically committed to the idea, but gets out of touch with reality. The company is created exclusively for making money. There is no desire for the business to benefit others. The details are not thought out, or vice versa. Brain work takes too much time, and the implementation of the idea is delayed. The company does not need hired managers during the courtship period. Believe in your project and strive for the result. Do not give up under the pressure of difficulties. Work out your idea, give it clarity, and then start a company immediately. Infancy. During this period, the company is already established and its financial obligations start to appear. It's time to show results. Productivity is low. The company is just learning how to function. Employees and management are working to the limit. Everyone makes many mistakes. Internal processes in the organization have not yet been established. The rules are just beginning to take shape, so a manager's participation is required in every process. Abnormal problems of this period. Chasing sales volumes instead of focusing on the product. The founder loses commitment to the company. The investors mistrust. Unforeseen losses and uncontrollable crises. Money from short-term loans is spent on investments with a long payback. Intolerance for mistakes. Dictorial management style. Early emergence of rules and procedures in the company. Getting stuck in the infancy stage. At this stage, the company is like a newborn child. It virtually needs its parents, founder, loyalty, and care. If they lose their commitment to the cause, the business dies. Remember, the mortality rate at the infancy stage is very high. Believe in your brainchild. As a leader, be involved in work and stay result-orientated. Motivate employees by your own example. Learn to solve problems. Go-Go Years At this stage, the company's product becomes popular, sales increase, and the company celebrates its first victories. The business strives for growth. The organization starts to have big ambitions, but there are not enough resources to implement them all. The internal processes in the company are still poorly established. It causes chaos in setting goals, recruiting personnel, exchanging information, making decisions, and financial reporting. The company at its go-go stage is in dire need of centralized management. At the same time, a founder trap often arises. Any processes are tied to the leader. They do not have enough time and competence to follow everything. Abnormal problems during the go-go years. Management's arrogant or paranoid behavior. An atmosphere of mistrust in the company. Attrition of key staff. Obsession with profit. Selling a low-quality product. Lack of communication within the company. 
uncontrolled expenses, and too high salaries. Dissipation of resources. Attempts do everything at once. Violation of laws. Strive for agility by updating your organizational structure and redefining employee functions as and when the need arises. Adolescence. In the period of adolescence, the organization seems to be reborn. The goals of the business are changing. The focus is shifted from sales to profit. The company is learning to improve its profitability. Decentralization of management takes place and professional managers appear in the company. Adolescence is marked by the internal conflicts between old employees and novices, the founder and the professional manager. What abnormal problems should be feared during this period? Return to the previous go-go year stage. Refusal of the company's founder to transfer the reins of management to a hired specialist. Conflicts that lead to a loss of mutual respect between employees. Excessive rules, total control. The inability of the owner and managers to delegate authority competently. Reduced investment rate. Unjustified costs of retaining employees in the organization. Limit flexibility during the adolescent stage. Improve management processes in the organization. Create a separate department for each function, product development, marketing, sales, etc. Establish some rules. Who is responsible for what? Who is allowed what? What each division should strive for. State the company's mission and values explicitly. Hire employees who share these values. Prime. It is the optimal period in the company's life cycle. There's finally a balance between flexibility and control and management. The employees understand and accurately fulfill their duties. All elements of the company are in harmony. The organization knows where it is going and successfully achieves its goals. The task of a company that has reached its prime is to stay on top and not start aging. But for this, it must continuously improve, grow, and adapt to changing conditions. The desire to leave it all as it is is strong, which is the most severe trap. Also, the company is in dire need of competent employees that share its mission and values. Finding them is not easy so the company has to spend resources and time to raise such talent. Abnormal problems may soon appear that signal the beginning of the company's aging when the prime turns into the fall. Activity weakens, relaxation pervades. The old methods that worked before are now outdated or used. Transfer of power from the line management personnel to the central body. Risks are ignored. Reliance only on facts and statistics. Unwillingness to see the subjective nuances of the situation. Aging and death. If a company has stopped developing and changing, it gradually begins to fade. Suppose you observe problems that mean a transition to the fall. In that case, the organization is gradually losing contact with the outside world and lagging behind the market's needs. Investments in new directions are coming to a halt. As a result, the sales stop growing and the management is not concerned with this. Then a stockracy arises when the company develops a massive administrative apparatus. Management denies the loss of the organization and hides the truth from shareholders. Then comes the witch hunt stage, when the authorities seek to blame someone else for all the failures. Mutual blaming and firing employees only alienates the organization from urgent tasks. If the company does not reorganize the business at this stage, Bureaucracy sets in. The rules in the company are becoming more and more strict. The corporate spirit is weakening. The company survives only through subsidies. Control costs are rising and the company is becoming less and less market adapted. If the financial infusion from outside stops and the company does not reorganize, it ends its market activities. Death comes. Investments are gradually withdrawn. Resume the main idea of the book. An organization, much like a living being, goes through several stages in its development. It is born, it matures, it lives its golden years. Then it can grow old and die. But it's not going to happen if the company is well managed, accepts changes, and does not let the abnormal problems grow. Any business can be at its peak for an infinitely long time. As long as we want something bigger and better, we are developing accordingly. We have the motivation to change. Changes must be expected, predictable, planned, and continuously tested. Ishak Adesis
Enjoy the video? Let us know! Please like it and subscribe to our channel and click the bell to get video updates. We appreciate your support and feedback.